All right, let's play some video games. We did a, a successful ironclad run yesterday. We'll start with a silent this morning. Damn, dude, this axe sucks. Best path might be four fights into like a hundred campfires. That's actually really good. Have you seen the biggest secret? Well, if I don't know what the biggest secret is, I would assume no, but then if I've seen a thing, then it might be the biggest secret. But if you tell me, have you seen this specific thing? Then I would probably say no, and then it'd be spoily. So. <laughs> also, these fucking suck. Okay. So we're good at elite fights, which means that maybe we should go this way. Ooh. Ooh, woo. sorry. Now, this fight is actually going to be very difficult for us because he scales very quickly and we don't draw a lot of cards. So we're going to have to take three here for sure. Going to have to take three here for sure. Yeah, that was definitely the correct way to play that fight. We could take an accuracy right now. <laughs> we could. We, we could do it right now, boys. Let's, uh, let's say fuck it, dude. We'll just have to play smart from here on out, you know? So, like, we should take this sucker punch here. Yeah, that's really good. Just get Shiv's forehead? True, dude. How could you be so dumb not getting Shiv cards? Couldn't be me. I think in this fight, I can preserve my HP maybe a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Never punished, boys. Okay, punished like a little bit. <laughs> punished just like a tiny bit. We need a really strong potion now, because we're we're getting we're getting slapped. Slapped in the straight up dome. Hey, you guys gotta stop now. Who would have thought that the Laos fight would be hard for us? Take a well laid plans. Don't be a fight, don't be a fight, don't be a fight, don't be a fight, don't be a fight. Piog 10 months ago, that's to the best streamer. Okay, definitely gonna want to use this here. You. Plumber, thank you for the tier 2 for 10 months, man. You are what they call, and I'm gonna call you what they call you, alright? You are what they call cracked, bud. Thank you. Alright, we gotta swing this turn. Probably was better to keep that, but I think the survivor does more block than. For one mana. Oh, we drew the neutralize anyways. Right. Good shit. Good shit. Did we need to... Do we have to play this? What is he... What is he weaken first? Does he weaken attack or defense first? I think we're okay to save the potion here. I think it was actually defense first. Yeah, that, that the YouTube has legitimately been uh, popping off lately, man. It's been pretty nuts. Yeah. Saving the potion, big. Did we just get our passive back? <laughs> I'm going to take a rest here. We're definitely going to use this potion here. Because we have to use a lot of stuff. So this fight sucks for us. We might actually die. Regardless of using the thing. We have to play this. I mean, it's just a fuck ton of damage, so why wouldn't we? Okay, he's dead. Definitely glad that we... Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my god. I don't think we can take the burning elite though. Can we though? Can we take the burning elite? No, I think I think two campfires would be super solid for us. I think we can just kill this guy most likely. Hey, what up, Miriam? How's it going, man? Hey, uh, we're taking the frost 11 suit here. Button kicking bubble gum. Oh no, we got the fucking Ori Calcum. I forgot. We just picked that shit up. Yeah, we're doing something, man. I'll take a terror, sure. We need to rest at one of these campfires, so I'm going to do it early just in case this is a random fight because we've been getting a lot of them. I do kind of want to remove a card, actually. I need to rest again, then. Fuck! We're doing nothing but sleeping! Miriam, thank you for the three months. Stop sleeping on the job. I think we can just kill this guy, most likely. Yeah. <laughs> What is this run? Uh, a lot of early power that could fall short immediately. We need, like, a cloak and dagger or something. An expertise? A concentrate? A poison stab? I think none of them, actually. I think here we can upgrade. And probably upgrade... Wow, what a turn one, dude. What a turn one, chat. Okay, so, but like turn two was like a little bit better, I think. <laughs> ah, a three turn slime boss fight. Seems pretty good. I think I'll take a tools of the trade. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hovering kite is actually something we should consider for like two seconds because we took tools of the trade and then we take wrist blade because it's really fucking cool. YouTube, what's going on? I just came down real quick to record this to tell you to sub to the YouTube channel because when I tell you to sub, you actually fucking sub. So I'd appreciate it if you'd sub and like the video, comment on the video. Come over to stream if you want. Literally today, the day that this is, you're gonna make. Today, the day that this is being uploaded, uh, you could win $200. Literally just by typing a random number between one and a million into chat. So maybe give it a try. Or not. Maybe you hate money. Wait, right. I actually have to press the end recording button. Um, a uh, bye. We could, if we went this way, take a bunch of fights into three elites, but I'm worried about how we do in, in basic fights. Or Calicum definitely coming in clutch in this fight. YouTube. Yeah, chat. Boys, is it this time? content hey, that you're so watching right now has officially now, been given the Twitch chat seal of awesome content that you should come and watch the stream. Or they're they're just doing the the chat triggers at random times like they do all the time, and I'm just standing out here looking like an idiot. Hey, what up, doggo? Picking 12 here. Not ideal for sure. But now we should be able to kill everything in sight. Oh, we can't actually kill everything in sight. Oops. Shuriken or kunai? Definitely think we want the kunai this run, but... 
I don't think that our damage is lacking all that much. Yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and think that our, our damage is okay. Do we have lethal here if we play the second, if we play the second accuracy, do we have lethal? No, we do not have lethal. We should not play that. So we should go boom, boom, boom. Wow, still a pretty good turn though. Must say. Here's the main issue with our deck chat. Other than playing those like two cards, that kind of sucks. Like we have one shiv card. I'm gonna take this piercing whale. Which is why we need to go to the shop, find a toxic egg. Okay. Ooh. It won't be upgraded, okay, so I think damn. no. I didn't expect to be here for two YouTubers, and it'll be <laughs> damned if I'll miss my chance to get people on this stream. Sure. By force if necessary. God, I'm tired. Okay, so, like the vid, that's a must. Comment, I'm down there. Compliment my milk bags. It's not oh. weird. Then come over to the It's kind of weird. It's it's yes. like, it's, it's okay we if you feel a little bit weird. Right don't compliment his milk bags if you don't feel comfortable. You are missing like games like <laughs> WTF guy. Come on and let's hang out in chat. Maybe watch as Frost gets thrown money for breathing for five minutes. Dude, I'm really good at breathing though. One in the chat if you agree. What the fuck? I'm pretty fucking good at breathing, man. 20% chance of attacking. Who we would want. We would want nothing else other than that. Oh, it's three times three? Holy shit. That's even better. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Two, you have asthma. Wait, what does my asthma have to do with any? Oh, I'm bad at breathing. <laughs> Wait, it didn't keep my defend. Trolling. You're right. You know, Sneko Skull, I'm going to say that you're not super necessary here. Do I like a distraction plus? Not really. I want some draw now. That's kind of what I want. The Twitch seal of approval popped up during an Isaac video, and that's what got me here. We stand that shit. Keep the piercing whale. It's AOE block, and it also then we could proc or Calcum with it. Very good stuff. Could use... I think we actually probably do this. It seems much better. Mm, I wanted to keep that around, but if he does the multi-attack, the piercing whale is just really good. He does not do the multi-attack. Piercing Whale is still probably good. <laughs> Ow. Chat, I do believe that we are the best resters in the West. Would you agree? Some people go to a best Western. We go to the best rest. Let's take this acrobatics. Plus. Because we're all we're wanting to do is taking elite fights. I think, right? Yeah. I don't think we need to rest going into an elite yep. fight. Maybe we do? Do we need to rest going into an elite fight chat? With how much damage we put out? Or can we make tools of the trade cost nothing? Or can we make terror cost nothing? Or can we take accuracy cost nothing? If you get slavers, you kind of die. Depends how fast we die. It or it depends how fast we can kill them. That's the question. Maybe infinite blades is good. Going into the elite fights, actually. I think that's very strong. Uh, I think this is worth taking the key. Or we could take Juzu and then suck up that. Actually, that's really good. Yeah, we're going to go that way. Hi, Stabby Book. Chat said we might have some trouble with you. Let's see if chat is very poggy and smart. We like taking an extra two damage. I don't think so.
one, two, three, four cards to block or to use. We could also draw into our piercing whale or into a weakening device. Hey, there's both of those. That's really nice. Piercing whale and a weakening device. <laughs> Very good. Pretty nice. Lizard tail could take a backstab. I like it to flect, though. Or do I like a deflect? I do like a deflect. Yeah, deflect is pretty good. You burst into flames. Goodbye. Wait, have we removed it? We have removed one card. Wait, we've removed one card at a shop. Right? Oh, no, did we remove a card? Wait. No, we removed a card at an event. So that means that if we take this, we should be able to go to the store and upgrade, right? We 7 HP to remove a card. That's what I thought. You bought a relic and a card. That's it. Boom. All right. We take this. Received three apparitions and they're upgraded. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so we're definitely removing here. That has to happen because with apparitions, we still get fucked. Okay. I think we can go into this fight possibly without resting. Do you think we could go in with upgrading well-laid plans? Because our apparitions are upgraded, which means that they don't go ethereal. Going in my gut here, chat. Did it just fucking upgrade my god dang accuracy right in front of my G dang face? Oof. Okay. 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 It upgraded my shiv. Very good. It's going to take my tools of the trade. The other guy might take our accuracy or terror. So I kind of like killing this guy first then. Actually, I think we keep one apparition and one defend. Yeah, I think this killing this guy first is much cooler. No matter what he takes. Okay, so we just needed one more device of weakening. He has tools. How much do I care about the tools? I think I care about the damage more than I care about the tools. Okay. Next turn is what? 12 times 2? Yeah. Okay, so this is always happening. I think this is happening, and then this is happening. Do we like piercing whale into terror here? Do we like using an apparition here? So we could piercing whale terror defend. That gets us. So he's doing 24. We can go to 15. I think that's way better. Yeah, I think piercing whale. Something like that. And then go boom. And then go boom, boom, boom. Yeah, we're cracked right now. I think this is... Like, we're always playing an apparition next turn. Who the, what the fuck do we care? What do we want from this boss? Someone might have asked. I don't think anyone asked it, actually. Um, nightmare. Ah, damn, dude. Those apparitions really came in clutch in that fight. Pogs and chat. <laughs> oh, hey, nightmare. Okay. Uh, Probably cursed key. It actually might be crown. It's like our deck is so fucking good. Crown, you don't want another pain in the deck. We could prepare for that. We can prepare for having a pain in the deck. But yeah, I guess getting relics is probably pretty good. Because we are just going to take as many question marks as possible. Maybe the deck needs a bit more draw. I mean, all of the draw mechanics in, in the silent are common cards, which we are most likely to see. So I think we're okay. We're going to go this left path. Take two, three elites. Seems kind of cummy wummy to me. Yeah, we're good here to just do boom, boom, boom. Fight's going to definitely be annoying for us with two stabbies. But I think we'll be okay. We just need to hold out for a large... 
Oh, shit. Can we do this? Yeah, I think we can do this. Yeah. We just need to hold out for a, an apparition turn. Be alright. Speaking of the apparition turn, I think we play this now, and then on a singular apparition turn. We just don't want to take damage. I think we're fine to play one. Here we're good. Keep around Nightmare Blade Dance. Apparition does work on the spike damage, yes. And away we go. Oh. Yeah, it's like pretty good, man. Especially since we have three apparitions coming up. That's nice. Hmm, what do I want to get rid of here? I don't know. What does this deck want now? A second nightmare. <laughs> well laid plans again. Keep three cards around. It could be useful. Seems almost overkill. Almost. 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 Pretty good turn, I would say, on a, a turn one. Just a pretty good turn one out there with the and the stuff and the things and the yeah. Hey, it's tier two for thirty nine months. Thirty nine months of lurking. Oh. oh fuck! Sorry, we we're talking about the thirty nine. We actually should have played more apparitions. I forget we don't have well eight plans in play up. Yeah, it's a bit of an issue now. Oops. Hey, but we got our well aid plans in play. I just need to think more. Use our brain a little bit more. Use my brain just a teeny bit more. That is a light oops. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Because, like, our deck literally should never theoretically take damage. So <laughs> With the way that it's going. So, I, I, I'm not... I'm not overly worried in the slightest. Can't ask me if I'm worried in the slightest. We do want to take more shift cards for sure. I think that's a thing that we definitely care about doing. Are you worried in the slightest? No, I would say that I'm not. Thanks for asking, though. Distilled chaos, poison stab, no thank you. Oh, okay. If I take this, I'll be worried in like just the very slightest. <laughs> if I if I go with this fight, we will be just the slightest bit worried. We might have to use... I think with the Distilled Chaos, I feel very confident. Yeah, with Distilled Chaos, I'm good. Let's go after the guy with 92 HP first. Actually, no. Fuck Weakening. Yeah, Distilled Chaos does make me confident. Hmm... Do we even need to do this? Piercing Whale is negative eight to both of them, right? So then, boom, 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 we block it. Yeah, we're fine. We don't need to. We don't need to use Distilled Chaos this turn. Okay. Are we using the Distilled Chaos this turn? Or are we taking six? I think we Distilled Chaos here. Very good. 
Nightmares have to be on the end of your deck. Or, uh, your, your apparitions always have to be at the very bottom of your deck just to make your butthole. Wait, we're supposed to nightmare that. We have another one. It's fine. <laughs> Whoops. Just to make your butthole clench up just the tiniest bit, okay? Your butthole is, is required to clench up. Good morning, Zuriko. Re it's a requisition. A riddle with holes. No, thank you. Maybe if we had the boot. Probably not even then. Madness or lose two max HP. Become cursed in our opening hand, but we get to heal for seven. <laughs> oh, seven HP heal big! Oh, we had one more mana. What the fuck did we get one more mana from, chat? Crown? I felt like we had five mana that turn, did we not? Maybe I'm going insane. Chat has always told me that I'm very cute. What the fuck? Cute Frost? Uh, Flechette's Plus is close, but I, that, it, damage is not our worry right now. Our worry is getting to our not damage, to the stuff that keeps us alive. Okay, so... Boom... Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Also, can we just agree, chat? Can we agree really quickly? That second well-laid plans? Saving our ass. Let's just go out on a limb here and not beat around the bush. It is what it is. Oops. Oh, we had the, the well aid plans plus in play. Should be good here to kill both of these guys. Yeah, with the accuracy plus cloak and dagger, I don't see a way not that we don't. I think we can get rid of you. Probably was a way that I could have done more damage to the to the main guy. Definitely want to keep Nightmare over Piercing Whale. Dude, where the fricky fracky are my apparitions? Hmm? Don't even say if they're up my butt, I know it, because I wouldn't. They're ghosts. You wouldn't know if you had a ghost in your butt. I do have a ghost in my butt. Oh. I was proved wrong immediately. I apologize. I would like to issue this apologize. I continuously demonstrated a severe lack of judgment. Singing bowl is good with the busted crown, for sure. All right. How comfortably are we with recalling here versus upgrading our other well-aid plans? Oh. What a turn one, boys. What a fucking turn one, chat. He's intangible this turn, so we keep the shift so that we can deal damage next turn. Big plays from Frost Prime, one in the chat if you agree. We all agree immediately, so don't even need to go over whether or not we do. 
How much do I care about taking two damage here? I don't think we need to. <laughs> I'm going to get greedy as fuck. I don't think we need to. Yeah. That's exactly what we wanted to fucking see, boys. All right. We're going to have an omega amount of apparitions in our next hand. He's added a billion burns to our deck, but do we actually fucking care? <clears throat> the answer is no, by the way, in case you were actually asking. Good fight. Bottled Flame. Let's get another two max HP. Thank you. What attack would we want in our opening hands? None, actually. I think it makes our hands significant. Maybe a neutralize. Maybe a neutralize and we can upgrade the neutralize. It seems terrible. It seems like I just want my other Crime stuff in my opening hand. And I want to skip this relic, actually. <laughs> hey, White Beast, Frost Piece 7 to you. Thank you, man. All right, do we need to upgrade anything here? I don't think so. I think we can just go with the recall. Because our, our, uh, our, our Warp Tongs takes care of most of our things that we don't have upgraded. Okay. Back on our bullshits. Yeah, getting off at least one well aid plans off on turn one is so fucking crazy OP, man. Like, it's nuts. Ask me if it's nuts, because it's fucking nuts, dude. Ooh, I think it's terror this turn. Then we do this. We only have two well-aid plants here. We do have a million, uh, um, not, uh, we have a million apparitions. I was gonna say neutralizes. A million apparitions coming in our next hand, so I don't think we're worried entirely about that. Oh, is it nuts, Frost? It's like a little bit, yeah. Duvu doll, a prepared plus or two max HP though. I mean, like, dude, the thing is, is prepared plus is good, but two max HP is so fucking good. Max HP is incredible. Like, I almost want to go this way so that we get more max HP. Yeah, we're actually gonna go this way because more max HP is super good. Could actually just die on turn one of those fights. That'd be weird. <laughs> Definitely want that so we can keep the nightmare arounds. Mm -hmm. And we win. Cool. <laughs> Very nice. Hey. Chat, can we get a shout out, please, for Ori Calcum? One time for the one, please. <laughs> Ori is pulling her weight. How much have I played a Wild Rift? Zero, actually. Too busy being the best video gamer in the world, you know? Busy job, man. Two more max HP. And a big. Close game. You almost had me. You almost had me. Probably should have played the well-aid plans there, actually. In hindsight. In hindsight, I don't think it fucking mattered. 
Oh no, he's dead. All right, cool. Weak potion and another two max HP. Big. Let's take a rest here. Go to full. It's Frost hindsighting himself. I'm legally allowed to hindsight myself. It's you who's not allowed to hindsight me. Yes. Those are the rules. This is, this is like one of the worst opening hands. By the way, this is one of the worst turn twos, actually, by the way. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Monka S. Glad we took that rest. And we win. Okay, good. Just like I had to make sure that we got the dub real quick, you know? Actually, might be better for us to go after Deca first. I think it's too late now. I think we've already made our decision, so we shouldn't dwell on that, but... Donu, I will miss your saggy fun bags. Imagine if I just didn't, like, accidentally just didn't play an apparition one of these turns, died. You guys would all laugh at me. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't play enough cards, and I discarded one of my shivvies. Is it always better to kill Dono first? Uh, Dono scales the strength, so Dono makes the fight very scary. Deca scales their block, which, in that case, it technically was... My, my cosmically better since we were they were dealing one times two every single time they attacked. This is a terrifying fight for us, actually. Good turn one, though, I think. Yeah, this is a rather scary fight for us, especially since we've had a bad first couple of turns on the last fight. Velp, YouTuber is dead. It was a good run, boys. Shh, 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 shh. Shut the fuck up, chat. Matt, have you considered shutting the fuck up? Hm? Didn't think so. Okay, we can do this. Slow and steady. I've been told, but never was taught how. Reset the uh, time eater strength, even though they go back to the full HP. Reset their strength so that they uh, they're not massively stacked up anymore, which is good.
Get rid of one of our apparitions so that we can full block this turn and not have to use one. We'll cycle back to it. Our deck's not that big. Big. You know, Chris, you're kind of right. When you're right, you're right, my man. You know what I'm saying? I think this is a turn that we block. You know what? I somehow forgot you are almost always intangible and would need to be mega dumb to die. And last I checked, you are smart with an above average penis. Thanks. The last part was very true, actually. <sighs> Only took three damage. And I probably could have min-maxed it and took zero. There was probably a way that I could have taken zero. That was a really well-played fight by me. My head hurts now. I need to take some ibuprofen. Good job, Frost. You did good. Thanks. <laughs> kind of want to upgrade the blade dance. It gets upgraded almost every single fight, though. So let's just take the extra six HP. I think you might need more shivs. I think we might need this wraith form. Yeah, I think we take the Wraith form, and then maybe we remove a strike here. I think remove, and now that we've added a 30th card, is probably very valuable. Could actually take Bouncing Flask for the artifact if we don't draw Terror early on. I'm okay with this, though, actually. I think we use... Um, Impatience would have been okay, but I think the Wraith form is more valuable. I think... We're probably going to use this potion very early on in this fight and kill one of these clowns, I would imagine. Let's draw for some shits here. Is the Apparition good enough this turn? I think we might go boom, boom, and then boom. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's... Boom. 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 Is it Terror or Infinite Blades? Might be Terror. Does it neutralize... Uh, piercing Whale. Let me get Terror. I think Infinite is more consistent damage. Might be right. We'll try it. If we draw Super Whale, it doesn't fucking matter, no matter what happens, really. But, yeah, I mean, we weren't going to get Terror off this turn. Do we care about using Blade Dance this turn? We take zero. Definitely playing you. Definitely playing this. How much do we care about Blade Dance? Right now he's going to give... Um, he's either going to do 99 to himself or 30 to both of them. We could wait until we get some accuracies off to Blade Dance. If it was about to shuffle... Like, if it was a, if this, if our deck was about to shuffle, I'd use the Blade Dance. But without it doing that, don't see a reason to. might have been a turn that we could have thought about using our... thought more about using our flex potion. Okay, though. Alright. <laughs> GG, you motherfucker. I could keep four. My bad. I forgot we upgraded the other thing.
Yep. Ah, pretty good stuff, I would say. I would say good decision making all around. Do I think that the Infinite Blades was better? Yes. Just because of the way that we drew, but we couldn't have known that. Keeping the Infinite Blades over the Terror, excuse me. Just to... We could also get two max HP from this fight chat. Could be kind of big. <laughs> hey, Asia, what up, dude? Oh my god. It's pretty good. And we get two max HP chat. Did we take a single card? What? We took. Well laid plans. Is that the only thing that we've taken since we've taken Busted Crown chat? We took Busted Crown and then we took a well laid plans. Our deck was almost strong. Our deck was might have been strong enough to win. Well laid plans has been really good. The other, the second well laid plans has been very good. But we might have already been strong enough to beat everything. Holy fuck. Also, this is a very bad opening hands. This is very Monka, actually. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's exactly what we wanted to see. We wanted to dig for the, the, the well-aid plans so that we could keep a nightmare around. I think it's nightmare accuracy. So we want to save our fossilized helix for the big hit if we can. Yes, yeah, so we shouldn't play anything else here. But getting the nightmare and not a well laid plans in our opening end was very scary. Big, big hit, big hit, big hit. It's fucking go, oh, dude. <laughs> okay. We could, I, I, we could also apparition it, but I don't think it's worth it to do so. I think it's literally just defend, nightmare, accuracy. Defend, nightmare, accuracy. Defend, nightmare, accuracy. Defend, nightmare, accuracy. No, we can't do it all. We can't actually do it all. We can only defend, nightmare. No. No, we can do it all. Okay. Okay. Nice and slow. Okay. That's nice. Now we play one of these. Taking eight here, going to 32. That is fine with me. Oh shit, how worth it is for us to use an apparition here? Just to avoid beat of the heart. I don't think so. I don't think worth it all. Now, one thing that's actually like super negative here is I think we go Apparition, Apparition, Piercing Well, Neutralize, because we didn't draw the Terror. Like, okay, I'm saying we we play Accuracy, and then we keep Piercing Well, Neutralize, Apparition, Apparition. We could keep, we could use the Weak Potion for it, but I want to actually get value out of it. But I think that the Terror not coming in our opening hands, he's going to put on the Artifacts. I think that's very scary. Yeah, no, I, I like my play. Or, wait, 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 wait. Is it Apparition? Is it, is it Apparition, Blade Dance, Neutralize Piercing Whale, and then we can use the Weak Potion as a form of Artifact Breaking to dodge the the turn that he's going to do the multi-attack, and we can actually get some damage off once we get Terror online. Oh, that's such a good turn. That's such a good fucking play. Oh, Tristan, you're going to make me horny. I am horny. I'm already horny, actually. Yes, yeah, so we go boom, 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 and we use Apparition for the big hits. We still have one Apparition in the deck as well. 
Okay, so here, we know what our plan is. It is boom. Probably gonna do this. Boom, boom. And we can do, I'm gonna do this. No, I think we keep it all actually, cause next turn we'll have deflect terror yeah, no, we keep it all, because it's going to be so much damage next turn. The deck does shuffle, but I think this is just better. It sucks the deck shuffles. We might use our, uh, our flex potion next turn. It'll be a really big turn. Okay, so this turn is... Apparition, Deflect, Nightmare. Almost used the second one. Oops. Those are 30 a piece, and we're doing 30 times 5. 30 times 5? That's like 150. That's almost capping him. It's almost not worth it to use our flex potion on this turn. I don't think so. Ooh, having Wraith form is very nice. Very easy turn here. I forgot we added that Wraith form to the deck. We are on so much less of a clock than I thought. We are taking a very small amount of damage here. Taking nine. Genuinely okay with nine. HP is but a resource, chat. I think it's more worth to apparition first. No, it's not. Do it like this, do that. We have Lizard Tail too. Yeah. I mean, Lizard Tail isn't going to do much if we just die. But yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to need any more cards this turn, but thank you. Alright, just deal 200 damage in the next couple turns. It's fine. is one of those turns that using Apparition first is definitely better. Make B to the heart one. And then this literally is five beat of the hearts. So we take literally zero. Take zero again this turn. Because of Ori Calcum coming back once again for the massive place. Ori Cal gonna make me come, you know? Um. Just go play it and play Wraith Form. We definitely win in the next two turns. Mm -mm. Could use our flex potion, or we could uh, we could flex on him of how good we could we could f bitch. Yeah, I did the math from the start. Didn't want to play the flex potion because I knew we were gonna get to exact lethal. So. Pretty good. YouTube. Boys. Boys. This content that you're watching right now has officially that been content. given the Twitch chat seal of awesome content that you that should content. come and watch the stream.
He's that kind of right there. Or they're 